Hello YouTube, today we'll be talking about how to configure a Samba server using Ubuntu server to have shares on your network. And these shares can be accessible from any machine that's capable of using Samba. So be it Windows, Linux, or Macintosh. So while it's booting up here, I'm going to talk about what exactly Samba is, Samba is going to allow us to do. In this series of tutorials, we're going to have one tutorial that um, allows a user to configure their Samba server to um, a domain controller. And that domain controller will let people log into our Ubuntu server system. And then that way their files come with them and whatnot. And then this will utilize some of what Samba is doing. So Zamba, Samba is very helpful in that regard, and it's quite um, well used. And first, we're just going to go ahead and log in here. So we created a user called Web User, and this is the same system that we used to configure our um, website in previous tutorials, but it'll have no effect on this tutorial, so we're fine in that regard. And we'll just do an ifconfig. And we can see here that we also set our static IP address using those previous tutorials. So let's see if we can ping something. So let's ping Google. We can see that we have an unknown host. I'm going to ping my host machine here. And we're getting a response. So that is good. Um, that means that our server can communicate. So the first thing that we have to do in this tutorial here is start with installing Samba. So let's do sudo app git install Samba. And our password is password. And it's going to ask us, we're going to say yes. And we see that we have some errors here. So what we're going to run is sudo app git update. And that'll just update our header files, and that will allow us to download some new things. Um, we can also see here that it failed as well. Well, the solution to that problem was actually the DNS servers that were set up on the machine. That's why I couldn't resolve Google.com. So we just fixed that by opening resolve.conf and then putting in Google's DNS servers. So actually, let's run sudo app git install samba this should be just fine on your system it just gave us one little problem here and now we can see it is installing it got a lot further than it did last time and now we are on our way so this is going to take about five more seconds and then it should be done here keep in mind this is 40 megabyte file i believe so it could take a while depending on your internet connection speed and whatever else, but it should finish, um, and then we will be on our way. And we're back. So we see everything is installed successfully. So the next thing on our list is to do sudo bi forward slash etc forward slash samba forward slash smb.conf. Excuse me, and then hit enter. And we can see here that we have a big long um, file here. And we're going to go ahead and start editing this file. So to insert, just hit I, and then we can begin editing. So our work group, this is going to be the same as your Windows machine or your Linux machine's work group. You want to have the same work group in order to be able to access these resources. So just leave that work group if you're unsure, and then you can change that from within your system. Um, server string will leave the same. And then we'll scroll on down here. And we can see some networking stuff. Our log files, we need that. And encrypt passwords, we would like to do that. And then if we continue to scroll down, we should begin to see our shares. So here we go, we can see our printers. So we're going to add a new share here. So to um, edit stuff, just hit enter, and, or to hit hit I and then it'll say insert in the bottom left and we're going to call this network share and this will be a shared folder for um, many 
uh, things in our server so we could have a shared drive and have allow administrators or even users to just upload stuff so we're going to create a simple share we're going to put a comment here and this will be uh, let's say guest share and anyone will be allowed to read and write to this and then our path this will be um, let's create our own path in the um, root directory we're gonna call this um, share and then that'll just be our simple path here and then we want this to be browsable so that will be yes and then where it says read only we're going to say no and then we want it to be writable so that will be yes and that will allow us to write of course and then we want guest OK, and that will be yes. And now we can see that we are done here. We can just hit escape, shift colon WQ, and you can see that it's been written. You can actually do test parm to test it. And that will just um, see what's going on. We can see our network share has been processed. Um, this is nice for just seeing that you've configured it correctly. And then we'll just hit Control c to break out of that. And now we can reload our Samba server, but we first need to create a directory called um, share like we did set up. So let's do sudo mkdir, and then we're going to create the path share. So that will give us a root directory. So let's do cd dot and actually we'll do cd dot that'll go up the directory and then we just want to go to the main directory here and we can see that our share folder is here so we can go to share and we can see all, that there are no files in here currently so now let's reboot our samba server so let's go to sudo etc init.d and then samba reload and that will reload it did I type something correctly? This should be... Oh, I'll unpause it when I figure it out. So the year has been resolved. It was just a simple replacement of Samba, and it should be SMBD, because that's the actual folder path to our Samba. It has changed over the years. And then we want reload. And we can see here that sudo etc init.d smbd dot, and then reload hit enter and there we go we can see that it has been restarted so i'm going to pause pause the video and start up my windows xp um, machine and i'll be back shortly okay so we have our windows machine set up here and it is in the work group of work group so we can find that out by going to my computer right click properties this is in windows xp of course Go to the computer name tab and we can see here that work group is work group. So that is good because it is on the same work group as our um, Ubuntu server is. So let's close this. Let's go to start. Let's go to my network places. You could also go to my computer if you'd like. Go to my network places and we can see here that our network share on web server Ubuntu is showing up here. So that's great. So we can just double click on that and that brings us right inside this empty folder. Now let's try to create a file here, and we can see that we get an access is denied for our um, folder here. Well, this is interesting because what we didn't do is set up the permissions for our guest share here. So let's hit OK. Let's actually go back to our Ubuntu server, and we need to type in a command that will change the um, permissions on our um, folder here so that we can read and write to it. So let's do sudo and let's use a command called chmod and we'll use the numbers 777 and that will allow anyone to read, write, or execute. And then we want forward slash share and then we want dash capital R because that will recurse into these subdirectories but there are none so it doesn't mean anything currently. And then just hit enter. 
and we can see here that nothing is outputted but that means that it is gone correctly so now let's try to create a folder and you can see here that we have our new folder so let's call this testing samba and then inside here you can create a document if you want we can just create a bitmap image and we can name it anything so simple name of anything and then let's go to our Ubuntu server here and let's do an ls share and we can see here that testing samba so you can do an ls share and then testing samba i believe i have to do the spacing correctly but this concludes the tutorial because if we were to go inside testing samba we'd see that our anything bitmap image is there so if you like this tutorial, please rate, comment, or subscribe. There's many more Samba and Domain Controller um, tutorials to come. So I will see you in those tutorials. Thank you and have a great day.